Sugar makes kids hyper. Nor does it. There is some very interesting research on this. Let's talk about it. My name is Kendall. I have ADHD. I'm an ADHD educator. I want to tell you about this fascinating study. Researchers took 35 pairs of mom and young boys ages 5 to 7. These boys were labeled as behaviorally sugar sensitive. They were split into two groups. In one of the groups, the researchers told the moms that the child received the placebo. In the other group, they told the moms that the child received a large amount of sugar. But both groups received the placebo. The results? The moms in the group who were told that their child received a large amount of sugar reported their child's behavior as significantly more hyperactive than the group that were told they received a placebo. And I think this part is interesting. Let me read it to you. Behavioral observations revealed these mothers exercise more control by maintaining physical closeness, as well as showing trends to criticize, look at, and talk to their sons more than did control mothers. This showed confirmation bias and expectancy effects. So what's actually going on when our kids seem to be hyperactive with sugar? Let's look at the environment. Where do kids have large amounts of sugar? Birthday parties, holidays, often in really dysregulating or exciting environments. And it's more likely to be the environment producing that hyperactive response rather than the sugar. And if you're curious about the dyes, follow along. I'll talk about that too.